Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be looking at my mister. This particular one um, I bought several years ago um, when the project pretty much first started. And um, yeah, I made a 3D printed case for it. So it does all go together properly. There we go. So what I wanted to do was dig this out because I haven't used it in a while and um, have a look at the new uh, Mr. Fusion Flash and uh, set it up from the beginning and see if it installs all the stuff I need. The last time I set one of these up was a long, long time ago and you had to use a special flasher and yeah. So let's, uh, let's see if it's got any easier. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take the SD card and load up Mr. Fusion, which is just like the Raspberry Pis, a starter basic image that you load on. So, yeah, I'm going to get that flashed and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, so I've got the SD card flashed with Mr. Fusion 2.7, and uh, let's pan this fucker up and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Fusion is installing Mr. Please stand by. So just like the Raspberry Pi, this is expanding the file system. This is currently on a 128 gig card. And uh, we're just waiting for it to, to do a bit of housekeeping and sort of shit out. Well, it takes a little while by the look of it. not take more than two minutes well there we go so the lights have now come alive on the mister as you can see down there i'll pop the top off so you can see and this is the familiar mister screen so the next thing to do is an update let's have a let's have a spadge at that one then uh, where's it on the keyboard yeah there we go so okay so we're going to have to go in here and we're going to have to sort the Wi-Fi out. That's the first thing on the list. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my details in. I think it's just created the supplicant file. Now there's a, a generic piece of shit, three quid, chinky uh, Wi-Fi adapter in this, so hopefully uh, it won't take too long to update. There we go. So it's come back on and you can see here that the Wi-Fi signal's there. So far it's been really painless. Um, yeah, okay. Now for the big one, if we go to scripts, um, update, this is going to be the one. How can you get a... Okay, I don't know why it's off the side of the screen like that. There's some kind of... Hmm. Right, so here we are back. Um, it did its update. That's um, I loaded on Fusion. It's done the, the downloader. It took a while to do. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's probably because I'm doing it over Wi-Fi. Um, so what I then did was set the video resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is fairly standard. And I believe let's have a look. You just go into scripts. Uh, bum, 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 bum. any settings and you can then set your video mode which is what I've done there now things at this point were not quite so rosy because although it pulled down a lot of the ancillary files ready to use um, you couldn't actually do a lot because 
most of the BIOS files are missing. Um, the arcade games, well, yeah, uh, there's a problem with that because you've got a ROM, you've got an MRA file and an RBF. And the RBF is the bitstream file that the FPGA loads in. The MRR, MRA file is like the control file, but you still need the correct ROM. And anyone that's dealt with MAME knows that there is a million and one combinations of ROMs out there for anything. However, if you go to um, Update All, you can then um, have it pull down what you want it to do. So let's have a look at that. What's going on there? Here we go. Right, so in my scripts file, I had to take the SD card out and go to GitHub and put update all on there. And the reason for that is, the reason why it's not packaged with it, it's gonna become apparent now. So you click update all, and what you can do is it will self check, and it will say, do you wanna press up or down? If you press up, you go to settings. Now in here, you can grab cores and ROMs and BIOS files if you set them to enabled and then you can actually just run it and it'll go off and it'll grab everything so I did that and I then had to leave it overnight that's how long it took granted I'm doing it over Wi-Fi if you're plugged in and you've got a decent connection I apparently am pulling data over a cheese string so it took a while but yeah i woke up come in and the next thing you know all of your files are there so go to arcade they're, they're all in there i mean look it's, it's just put them all in here the computers are all in there consoles lovely jubbly so if you go to a computer you can then um do something like this go acorn atom and yeah now this is one of the issues i've found the overscan is still bad um it's a bit of a pain so if i go into my tv's menu um let's have a look no 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 let's go down to picture options is that it here it's not really tucked out of the way there's a thing called size um, let's put that on screen fit and then everything is hunky dory however it does not stay so the minute you turn your telly off and back on you're back to that bloody overscan again now there, there might there might be a setting somewhere um, to sort that out it's got to come across the EDID or something like that, but yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, is what it is. Anyway, you can see that the computer's cores start up. You can pick other cores. Uh, Altair 8800 if you're feeling particularly masochistic. There we go. All looks pretty good. And, well... If you've got some serious malfunction and you really want to play an Amstrad, you can load that up. That, however, has not come up with a screen. Oh dear. Let's change that to 664 back. Well, there you go black screen no one wants to play a fucking Amstrad anyway so don't worry about that um but the majority of the others all work there, there's going to be a few um oddballs there certainly is for the arcade core and our cores and i'll come on to that in a minute but for the majority of stuff that update all goes away grabs all your shit for you and brings it back there we go I'm using a keyboard, so. Superb. Look at that. So yeah, 
it will just work for the majority of stuff. For other stuff you're going to have to play around but it takes a lot of the pain away for you. Um, if we go back to the arcade course which is where the majority of the problems seem to lie because like I said there's a lot of different ROMs you can get and get, getting them to work is a bit of a pig. Um, look at that, fantastic. Um, yeah, this is uh, one of my favourite machines obviously. It looks pretty good. Um, it's set to 60 hertz though. So you have to dive into the INI file and start setting stuff up for 50 hertz if that's what you want and you want smooth scrolling. If you don't, if you don't do that and the scrolling starts jittering, I don't know about you, but it really pisses me off. So yeah, I usually set that to what I'm used to. All right, let's have a look here. Arcade. So yeah, if we uh, oh yeah, let's load that one in. Now, I don't know if this has come across uh, in the video, but that Sega logo just swooshed onto the screen super, super smooth. That is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, they got some uh, stuff in here. Let's have a look. Scan doubler. Oh, yeah, that smooths it out. CRT lines. Brilliant. nice you can also make it full screen now you might notice that the lines i don't know if this is going to come out well but that you can see like bands in the lines and that's because uh, we're right, right the problem there is it's a non uh integer scaling variable so there you go if you scale it by a vertical integer you'll see that this there's no hidden bands in this now and it looks superb so if we uh, if we pick another one there we go brilliant you can save your settings you've got a lot of the same settings between cores however i've noticed that the scan uh, scan double effects like the the crt uh, scan lines that's a bit variable to whether it works or not as you can see here it's doing absolutely fuck all first one hq2x yep that works but the scan lines no let's pick another core this is asteroids deluxe obviously you don't want any scan lines on this but this is a vector game and um yeah yeah I mean, that doesn't really I, I don't think uh the cores on the mr hand are vectors very particularly well that doesn't look good uh let's have a look Yeah, you ain't got a lot of options in there either. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's that's one of those things, I suppose, that take quite a bit of uh, computational power to to smooth that out, like it does on Mame and stuff. But you never know. Maybe maybe there's settings in there that I just don't know about. I mean, I don't, I don't really spend a lot of time with a Mister, and I should. Um, but yeah. That's one of the, one of the problems I've just found, but the game itself will run. Well, let's find out. I don't know if we can. I'm on a keyboard, so yeah. I'm sure it plays just fine. Um, we've got Black Tiger. Yeah, there's. Uh, it's a really impressive 
number of cores that this can do for the arcade considering the amount of work that goes in each one here we go right so this is obviously a vertical game let's uh, rotate that now this this core's got a uh, refresh rate override. Now this is absolutely banging um, feature because you can then change that to 60 and have super silky smooth scrolling. The 57 was when it was driving an arcade monitor directly. Now the scan doubler doesn't seem to do a lot on here. However, that's not the only um, uh, option you've got for video stuff. You can go into video processing and you've got a major amount of stuff in there. You can load in files that, let's have a look. Let's go uh, Scanline Briar. Well, that's made a nice sort of moir pattern, if you can see that. That's a bloody, yeah, that's a nice effect. Not sure with scan lines, but hey ho. Um, thunder scan lines. If you go into um, LCD general, horizontal effect eight. Uh, yeah, that's, that's giving you a sort of LCD type grid. Yeah, very nice. I'll have to have a look and see what effects are in there. I'm I'm not sure why um the scan lines are um broken. Yeah, what what the hell is that? Well, there's a lot of options you can load in for your scan doubler and they do look phenomenally good what else have we got here uh, that's just so many goodens so the script goes off and it, it grabs the correct rom for the right game mostly there's a few What's going on there? Okay, That's, this has got a, a scan doubler already applied to it. It must have saved it automatically. Um, yeah, before I started recording, I loaded this one up, so it must have saved what I was doing on it. Yeah, there we go. Ah, okay. Oh, just regular. Oh, they're not scan lines, they're scan dots. Oh, right, well, just regular scan lines. Right, that's no interpolation, so that's just block central. Brilliant game, and it plays really nice. By the quick go on it, here we go. A bit of gorf. Look at that. I don't know what the insert coin is. Like I said, I've got a keyboard plugged in and not a gamepad. So what I have got next to me is this really tasty. Uh, AliExpress special. Will it work or will it blow the arsehole out? Who knows? Let's try it. I've used a few of these before. They're not great, but it will do. Oh, nice. 
Votrack sound. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to see the quality's uh, right up there. I've got no left. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, what a piece of shit pad. Anyway, that's what happens when you go cheap. So you've got a similar sort of stuff in here. Um, you've got the presets, as I've just shown you. A lot of uh, these cores have got um, different effects as well. If we go to Phoenix, Yeah, the, the CRTs don't really work on that for some reason. Some, it might be to do with how it's, um, ah, it might be to do with how it's being scaled. It's doing something in the background, but not what you'd expect it to. Yeah. Let's change this to no interpolation. There you go. Scan lines are doing absolutely nothing on this one either. Yeah, don't want to do that. There we go. All done. So yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, and it's that easy to set up. Some of the stuff you're going to find um, doesn't work properly or at all. Um, this core, for example, this has got some problems and it may not be the core. It may be that the update all script has got the wrong ROM. Who knows? But as you can see, it's a bit knackered. Yeah, that's not quite right, clearly. Um, there's another one as well that I found that was a bit wonky and that was um, Vindicators. see there's uh, some strange blocks going on and it's giving you a, a complaint about a ROM's not right so yeah it, it seems that even though you've got the update all script you're still going to be pissing around with something and you're gonna have to expect that I think if you've got one of these devices there's a it's always going to be a an element of getting in there and doing something But yeah, the arcade cores on it are very, very good. So what I've noticed is you use Mr. Fusion, you do the downloader, you load on the update all, you load in all your stuff you want, and then you've got to start setting up your video modes and that. So if, like me, you're used to 50 hertz for um, the C64, the 128, the Spectrum, um, you're really going to have to add a mini an any entry the mist mr any i think it is um and you've got to start adding stuff in there to set your video mode per core um so when you want to do overrides you put in there i think it's c64 then your video mode and then your type of v-sync you want i'm still um i'm still looking to find a way of um sorting out this overscan issue um yeah I don't notice it on the other TV. That 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 plays fine. It's just this one here for some reason. So yeah. But anyway, um, it's only a quick video. So what I'm going to say is um, check out 8-bit Retro Refix, um, Retro for You, 
Yark and Yosip's retro uh, bits. There's going to be links in the description for them. And I'm also going to put some links in there for Mr. Fusion. And uh, thanks for watching.